Hello everyone, I'm Snows, your host for Boot Sequence. Roll the intro. The Xbox One is getting more and more impressive. This month, the dev team added variable refresh rate and 1440p support. In May, they plan to add more refresh rates up to 120 Hz. With gaming monitors getting cheaper at higher refresh rates and the introductions of things like Nvidia's big format gaming displays, this seems like a good move. Now the real question is if any of the games will support it. Just because we have this option doesn't mean that the games will run at it. For example, a game like PUBG that struggles to even get a smooth 30 FPS on Xbox will definitely not benefit from it. But less intensive games like a lot of indie games might be able to make this work. Now the refresh rate will be available on both 1080p and 1440p, so there's not going to be any 4K at 120Hz. Microsoft didn't specify if this feature will only be available for the Xbox One X or for both the Xbox One and the X variant. I hope it's going to be for both, we don't want to let down anybody. Do you think any AAA games will be available at 120Hz? Do you think they could even run at such frame rates? Let me know down below, I'd love to know your opinion. In hardware news, we all know how the new Ryzen 2000 series performs by now. But did you notice? Where is the 2800X? I mean, we have the successor to both the 1600 and 1700 and their X variants, but nothing on the 1800X front. All right, let's just enter speculation mode for a second. So AMD says that the 2700X and 2700 have the space covered in terms of performance per dollar. But why are they waiting to include a 2800X? Or will they even have one? Maybe it's because whatever they have in stores is meant to compare with an uh, Intel competitor, like an 8-core Intel. Or maybe they're looking into separating the architecture and later in the year or next year, we'll see a Zen 2 2800X first. Honestly, I have no clue, but it is a little weird that there's no clear paths regarding that particular SKU. Personally, I'm just going to wait and see what Threadripper 2 is going to look like. What about you? Do you think there's going to be a 2800X or do you think AMD has already released what they wanted and they're moving on? Let me know down below, I'd love to know your opinion. What happens when you mix the game Firewatch and Half-Life? That's right, nothing. But Valve did just buy Firewatch developer Campo Santo. Apparently, the purchase is strictly to bring Campo Santo into Valve and not to absorb the studio and reassign its employees. That's a pretty cool move from Valve, and if you were expecting a Firewatch 2, just forget it. The creator clearly stated that there will never be one. Although, apparently, a movie has been in the works since 2016. In other gaming news, Nubia, a sub-brand from smartphone maker ZTE, announced a new gaming phone, the Red Magic. Interestingly enough, the smartphone will have a Snapdragon 835 instead of the newer 845. Even more interesting is the look. It screams Extreme Gamer. I mean, look at the RGB strip at the back and the angular design. It just looks like what a lot of companies are doing with their laptop to make them more gamery. Link to the video below if you'd like to see it. Moving on, we've got LG that is struggling to make enough OLED screens for iPhones. You see, Apple currently buys all of its iPhone X OLED screens from Samsung, which means that Samsung can purchase whatever price tag they want on them. So Apple decided to add a manufacturer, LG, and it seems like LG has hit a few snags in the manufacturing. This has caused Apple to reconsider the possible partnership. I guess that life could be better at LG, because their slogan is life's good. And now for a little fun fact about me that can send you on a wild goose chase, where I'm actually not gonna give you all the information, but you can find it, it's out there. If you type in Usher cover, yes, the singer Usher, you might find a video that has around 100,000 views. That's me and my friends singing an Usher song. I'm giving you this fun fact only because I can brag that this song was featured on the radio. So that's pretty much it for the news, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have some questions. You can click right here to see our latest video and right here to subscribe. Yeah, it's right here. You can leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, this was your boot sequence. I'll see you on the next one.